Hey guys, uh, today I thought I'd show you my video editing process because I've been getting a lot of questions about which video editing software that I use and what kind of post-production I do on my clips. Um, everything I learned, I learned from my brother Reese basically because he's a real genius when it comes to editing and post-production. I used to use Adobe Premiere, which I really loved and I thought was very user-friendly and very simple to use, but because I put clips online in high definition I had to switch to Vegas. I'm still using uh, the version 8 right now, but I've installed 9 already. Uh, apparently it's a lot better, it's basically the same, but it supports a lot more formats and it has a, a, a prettier interface, I guess. But yeah, I still have to make the switch, I still have to adjust the render settings and all that, so I'm gonna do that really soon. But meanwhile, I'll show you my workflow in Sony Vegas 8. Check it out! Uh, you go to an image here, here's my face, there you go. Uh, and you click here on the little track FX button and you choose some plugins. The only things that I usually go for is color curves and color corrector. There you go. There you get the color curves and what you do here is you choose the level of gray and white that you have in your image. You click Control alt uh, 2 and then you get the histogram here. Here you click a little point to have the uh, gray values draw it down a little bit and what it does is it makes everything that is black even more black instead of just gray. I should draw it down completely and as you can see it makes it a little bit darker. There you go. And then you add a point here just by double clicking and you draw it up. There you go. There's the brightness. Okay now as you can see the image is still a little bit pink and grayish, so you go to the color corrector and you just up the saturation like this to have it very yellow, down to have it black and white. What I always do is I up the gamma a little bit, um, like this, and then just adding saturation like this. And then this one, this is a perfect example of the cine mode I film in. You see the, these colors are very dark, very grayish, very dull. So what we're gonna do again, go to track FX, add color curves, color corrector. And this usually is the sort of effect I get when I film a clip, and then I have to edit these. But this goes down, this goes up usually when you hit the border, there you go and then we go to the color direct, color corrector here up the gamma and up the saturation, there you go and I have a nice pink glow there, like a healthy person so when you look at this this is before and then if you want to delete it this is after. You can insert text media. There you go. Type your text. Thanks for watching. And then make it a little bit smaller. And what you can do is you can add effects to that as well. I usually feather it a little bit. Um, a little bit like this, change the width, there we go, maybe draw a shadow, but you can't really see that very well on the on the black background. And here you can have your uh, text placement, you can change it where you want it to be. Um, background color, I always change it to, to um, a very transparent color because what it allows you to do then is it allows you to place it on the other video track and then you have it overlay on your on your little image there. Uh, click on generated media to edit it and then you can change the placement and go like this. You can um, change the picture here like let me just here's a kitchen, there you go. Event pan crop and what you can do there is zoom in or zoom out. What I always do for the music track that I add, let's 
consider this one to be the music track, right? Suppose this was a music track. I right click here, right click, sometimes it doesn't give it. There you go. Insert, remove envelope volume. And I drag the volume down so it doesn't really disturb the sound too much. I always drag it down to 23, minus 23. Sometimes minus 29 if it's a loud song. But that's basically all I do. And then the render settings. I don't know if you guys want to see these, but what you do is you select the portion that you want just by uh, clicking your mouse and then dragging the cursor. You select this and you click render as. Uh, so here is you know your title mp4. YouTube high definition is a template that I made. It's a custom template. Click on custom. Uh, video quality is at best of course. Check out video. There you go. 25 frame rate. Pixel aspect ratio. So these are the settings that I have. Uh, this is for widescreen, of course. And the audio, I don't think there's anything different about this one. So these are the basic settings that I have for the MP4 format. So yeah, that's basically all I do on the clips. There's this very simple color correction that I do, and that's basically it. Sometimes there's a text overlay, which is really all that I do. Um, so I hope you sort of like that. It was very simple, and I'm sure everyone knows all this already, but if you're new to this, I'm I think it might be helpful. Um, so I hope you liked it, and I'm sorry about the the frizzy hair thing. It's study time, guys. It's exam time, so I just got out of the shower, and it's like I didn't comb my hair, and this is what I call the wolf girl hair look. You know, like you know, like people raised by wolves. That's kind of what I imagine their hair would look like, like this. Sorry about that. So anyway, I hope you liked the clip, and I hope you guys are all doing well, and I'll see you soon. Peace out.